Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan P. Butler, and what we're going to look at this time is a little tangential. Um, it is home video related specifically. There are bonus items from Blockbuster for purchasing Star Wars home video items, but they are not home video items themselves. Although what they show essentially is. And one of these for a long time I thought wasn't a bonus item. Surely couldn't be a bonus item, but apparently was. And I guess I got to go with the more uh, wise out there on this one than myself. So we're going to take a look at both of those in this one, both again being uh, promo items you could get at Blockbuster, uh, in this case in 1995 and 1997, uh, when picking up these Star Wars films on VHS. So the first one I'm going to show you here, this is the one that for a while I was thinking couldn't possibly be an actual bonus item. It's thick cardboard. It feels more like a lobby card, like a thing you would see sitting up in a Blockbuster to promote the item than anything else. But apparently it is considered a promo lithograph. Okay. Mine's not in the best of shape. It's got a little bit of a crease there. But you've got essentially here a black background with a cover art of the three different releases for the Star Wars Trilogy Special Edition in gold. So the full screen version. Oddly with the, kind of these flat tops on them, uh, which look okay. Lots of dead black space. And then down here, your copyright your Lucasfilm and 20th Century Fox home entertainment logo. This is apparently something you could get as a bonus at Blockbuster. A few years before that, or a couple years before that, in 1995, there was a somewhat nicer one on slightly thinner paper, which makes me more willing to call this a lithograph for some reason, uh, and something that seemed like it was sort of designed more specifically as an art piece rather than being designed as something that could also have been used as a store display. That was this. Go to Blockbuster 95, pick up the trilogy, you could pick up this. The Star Wars Trilogy Collection. Got the art from the THX releases, but it's not actually the covers themselves because all the text and THX stuff isn't on there. So it looks nicer, looks cleaner. Notice at the bottom, names of the films, including Calling a New Hope, still Star Wars. There are people who will gripe about that, you know, forever. For me, Star Wars for a while was just called Star Wars. Once they got the subtitle, it's A New Hope, and Star Wars is the name of the series not the film, but there are people who will bitch about it. Guess what? Don't care. Bitch away. Um, underneath here, you've got uh, printed in the USA and copyright stuff over on the side. So two similar items here. Okay. Different card stock for sure. But two similar items here from Blockbuster promoting the VHS releases and back in 95 and 97. Stuff that I've managed to get for the collection, I'll be showing in the book, and don't really have much to say about them, but I did want to show you them here on the show as well to note that yes, they did exist in case anyone's out there looking for those types of things. I may eventually replace my uh, 97 one, but boy, is it pretty lackluster for me to care that much about replacing it for a small crease that's really only noticeable much from the back. Uh, but we'll see. Um, with that, we'll wrap up this very short episode. Thank you for watching, and may the force be with the home video viewers apparently including those who picked up their stuff at Blockbuster.